I'm riding with Matt today. Matt has never caught a shoal bass. I've caught a few, but it's been a few years. We are on the hunt today for the elusive shoal bass. They're very, very difficult to find. They pretty much only live in the Flint River. We're gonna make a little run, make a little ride, and go try to catch us a couple. If Matt catches shoal bass today, it's gonna be awesome. Maybe we'll catch us like a three and a half, four pounder. That'd be even cooler. So everybody don't be too mad at me for showing the show bass, but got to do it. It's cool, cool, cool fish. I think everybody needs to see it. Let's go catch some. Y'all boys see this? This is what we do. We catch us some big old show bass. Big ones. It's actually deep, deeper than I thought. Shoal bass. Boom. Small one. Smallest one I've ever seen caught. Shoaly though. Dag on. Boom. Oh, we got a. Oh, come on. Come on. Going, going, going. Hey. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. Big and dude, just don't break him. Don't break him. Oh my God, dude, that's a freaking pig. Just don't break him. Just don't break him, dude. That's that's like a five pounder, dude. Just don't break. Him. <laughs> I'm trying, dude. I'm trying. Come here, come here. Oh my goodness, dude, it's a giant. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> oh my God. Dude. <laughs> dude, dude. Holy Look at that God. thing, dude. Dude, Jesus. Hold him. Christ. Good job, dude. Dude. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> that's four pounds. Uh, I, I have no idea. Dude, that, that freaking thing is huge. Where's the, where's the scale? It's under the console. Dude, guys. Look. Holy crap, man. He just crushed it, dude. Like smashed it, like it was drifting in the current and it just boom, boom. Yeah. Like, dude, holy crap, man! Four three eight, y'all see that? Wait. Yep, four three eight. Dude, freaking big and dude. I'm putting him in a live well. Alright, we're gonna skip under this little tree. Yep, yeah. and the aerator's on. I got a bite, I got a fish. Oh, 
<laughs> Dang. Look at that. See up in the stuff? Uh, yeah, like right, right up by the base of that tree. Going in there? You think he's big enough? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's a two pounder. Big in. Not really, but going. They ain't friends right now. Y'all look at that live well. Gosh. That little showly. That's a little bitty one there. The smallest one I've ever caught. Pretty little thing, then. That's what we're coming out here for. Oh, had the camera off for that one, but that's what we're out here looking for. Oh, good large mouth, dude. Sounds like a four pounder, dude. I know. Dang. I think we should just go shallow and just sleep. We just go to sleep. You ain't gonna like what you see, though. Spotted bass. No, that's a large mouth ant. What is that? It's a spot. Golly, dude. Spotted bass. Spotted bass. Gosh. No. It was a good one. Dang. Do what? He like makes a weird, he dresses up like either extremely formal in some kind of weird situation. He's like. You didn't notice. Yeah, I knew, but I was, I thought it was small. Let's go. <laughs> what? Okay, yeah. Mm. That's how you're supposed to hook them, though. A little bit deeper than that, but about that hard. How many pliers, dude? I know. That's why I said it. Make sure I'm filming. All good. Nice little one. That's probably a two and a half, two and three quarters. Or a five. Think it's a five this close? Yeah, I think it's five. Nice. On no frog. 60 pound canine, don't play with him. Try to clear that one. We just gone. Dude, where's the shoot at that I was thinking of about? I don't see the shoot that I was talking about now. Let's go over and try to get up there. That's the only place that you might can get through. What about right there? Is that, is that rock right there? I think we can get over that. Oh, beside that big rock. It looks know. the deepest. It's either one of those two. That's the only two options I would I just can't tell how deep it is up there, if we can make it. 
I think this hit mic can work. Well, sit down. Sit down? Yeah, don't look. It ain't gonna work right here. I don't think. It's too shallow. What? I think on every side of that rock's our only our only chance. Right beside that biggest rock. Can we give us some speed and just I don't know, we can't do that. Do what? What about over there? That's too bad too. What about right there? Is that just solid rock? Yeah. Solid rock. What about failing? Oh, this is freaking swift. Come on. So you can pull it over this. I'll try to go around it if I can. God, dog. That's fault. <laughs> that right there is what we just what we just came over. We slipped into it earlier. Kyle got out in those rapids right there and pulling us over. Very glad I'm a G. The ocean is right there check out that view see if i can show it to y'all pretty nice little place over here in hilton head we're staying at the west end in hilton head that's where i'm at for the next day or two anyways that place me and matt was fishing for shoal bass they're about to blow the dams up basically where i'm from there used to be a bunch of mills along all the rivers as it is in most places of the country there was a bunch of little mills and georgia power did not renew their lease so the owners of the land or whoever is blowing the mills up is probably going to ruin the shoal bass fishing so that's probably my last time i'll get to fish for shoal bass for a long long time it's not that bad because i don't you, you never know if it's going to hurt the shoal bass fishing entirely or not but anyways there's a lot of really big ones in there i got friends that have caught six pounders i've caught a ton of fours out of there matt caught one that was 4.38 really really cool day of fishing but you know as always if you like that video leave a like leave a comment hit the subscribe button it was kind of scary for me to get out of the boat into that swift current but we had drifted over the uh shoal by accident and got down so we had to get up some way and i dang sure wouldn't let matt get out of the boat i should have made him put a life jacket on but anyways it ain't that big of a deal the water was pretty shallow it's just kind of swift so i had to get in and pull us up but anyways i didn't catch many matt kind of whooped me that day if he'd have caught that other big large mouth that i got on of uh, it jumping and coming off on video he'd have caught that he had a dang good day that had been too big but anyways i will see y'all in the next one if you want to see me vlog my hilton head trip leave a comment let me know say yes or no see y'all